Hey boys and girls, do I look tired yet? Because I sure as hell feel it. Uh, <clears throat> not much to report tonight. Uh, done pretty much. Almost went dark all of a sudden. I think it's a little bit too dark, isn't it? You need to be able to see me a little bit. There we go. There we go. Uh, yeah. So yeah, what I'm intending to do this weekend, I've said it before and I'm going to say it again, uh, I, I couldn't last weekend guys, I was too tired, um, I, by the time I'd finished my uh, my week of shifts, uh, the nights, and uh, basically covering all this malarkey, I, I was so tired, I, w I was immensely tired, look at here, look at you know, it's just give you Paul McCartney now. You know, I'm trying to think some Beatles songs, but I can't think of any right now. But um, yeah, it's a bit of a different look, I suppose. <laughs> Usually it's up the way, but today it's down the way. Yeah, but I hope everyone's doing fine and having a great night. This is another catch up. Um, there really isn't too much to say tonight um, that I can think of, apart from the fact that I would love to be, I don't know, doing some, <laughs> a message popped up on my phone that it really was quite inappropriate, so sometimes when that happens I'm like, uh, ah, okay, it can put you off a little bit, I won't tell you what it was because I don't want your virgin ears to be destroyed, you know, you know, we couldn't have that, but yeah, everything's fine, everything's fine, drinking coffee by the gallon, you know, as you do, you know, when you're having to do something like this and, and unusual circumstances, but, um, oh, I'm just getting a phone call right now, give me two seconds, guys. Hello? Oh, hi, Sarah, how you doing? Sarah, I, I know you're playing Fortnite just now, but I'm in the middle of making a video. Oh, you want to play Tetris? Um, well, I don't have Tetris, but... Yeah, you could definitely buy it for me. Oh, you definitely want to play Destiny as well. Yeah, no problem. Well, well, Destiny 3 just now, well, the base game, you know, you could just, you can get Destiny, because I know how much you've been wanting to play it. Sarah, thanks for phoning, it really is appreciated, because, um, you know, I miss hearing your laugh and stuff like that, so, brilliant. Okay, anyway, Sarah, I better get back, back to making this video. Right, bye. That's Sarah, she's a nightmare, phone me out the blue. Anyway, uh, she'll see this video soon enough, and um, but yeah, everything's uh, everything's all good. Last night, um, I don't know. I think I was on the verge of just. I was. I don't know. I was. I was. Um, it was the thought of doing another whole week of this. Well, you know, don't get me wrong, I've worked here for ages, you know, a long time. Um, but it was the thought of, of doing this, what I'm doing just now lately. Um, the start of the week, I thought, oh no, I just, no. But once you get past the first night, it's not so bad, you know, it's not so bad. You, um, it's just the lack of um, paperwork and stuff like that. It, there isn't, I mean... I'm getting the same things to do every night, and that's it. And, and they're done within no time at all. And uh, there are guests. We a we actually do have quite a few guests now. This is what I don't get. I don't get it. We're still taking in guests, you know, uh, from France and Holland and places like that. And uh, I, I don't know. I don't understand why. I don't understand how that works or why it works. Um, even today. On the way into work, I was noticing a few shops had opened at last. Um, so I'm beginning to think a lot of these shops are either independent or 
some of them are just deciding to open on their own accord and to say, you know, to hell with it, we're just going to open up anyway. And, uh, which I don't think is a good idea, but we'll see, we'll see. There's a lot of information out there now, uh, what came out yesterday, stroke today for some people, that they think patient zero actually in, in Europe, in France, died in December. Now, if that is the case, that basically suggests that the virus has been here since either November, October. So it would also suggest that we are more than well past the peak of this thing. And um, possibly the government have made an absolutely massive error. I don't mean the Scottish government, I mean the UK government. Um, I understand that you've got to be cautious, you've got to be careful, you've got to make sure everything's okay, but it, 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 there's, a, there's this um, testing, this um, antibody testing that is uh, basically saying whether you've had it in the past, you know, and they've delayed this thing and delayed this thing and delayed, delayed this thing so many times, and now that's making a lot of people wonder why they're delaying it. Is it because people, and I mean thousands and thousands and thousands of people, are going to find out that they've had this thing? Especially over Christmas, New Year, when people were getting very ill. And um, it's going to make people think, well, these guys, they knew about this thing. They, they've ob they obviously knew. So, uh, I don't know, but that's, again, that's me getting into another uh, debate altogether. So... We shall see. We shall see how it all plays out. But um, it definitely looks like we're on the up, um, to a degree, anyway. You know. I mean, it's it's hard to say. It, it it really is hard to say how it's how it's all gonna pan out. I am in the dark. All I need is my uh, Freddy mask, even though you wouldn't see it right now. Weird how it's that, yeah. One minute I'm in darkness, one minute I'm in light. Let there be light. See how magic I am. Yeah, but anyway. Yeah, so that's one of my, uh, my, my, why the hell is it so dark? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Yeah. But it's not, I don't usually have to muck about with it like that, but yeah. As I say, it's making a lot of people think, you know, and it's making me think as well. Like, these guys, they're delaying this thing for so long and there's no reason for it to be delayed. Absolutely none whatsoever. Um, it just seems to be excuse after excuse. And I think my personal feeling is the, f the fact that they've delayed this thing for so long, this antibody testing, to see if you've actually had it in the past is because so many thousands are going to realise that they did have it. And not just recently, but going as far back as December, November. And um, you can't tell me that people <laughs> wouldn't have suspected something was a little bit strange, you know, going on. And uh, but that's the world for you, you know, it's a... Uh, it's a cover up uh, nation, cover up planet we live in. And sometimes, sometimes it is for a good reason. Such things escalate out of control, but I don't think this is going to unescalate. I think, I think after this, my personal feeling is after this is subsided, this virus, that's only the beginning. I think things between China and the US are really going to get strained. Um, Here's hoping they don't, not to the extent that there's some sort of war, because obviously that would be the end of us, you know. Anyway, but what I was, <laughs> what I we, what I mean by that is, I hope um, tariffs, extreme tariffs, are put on them, and uh, by every country, including Russia, as well. You know, I think Russia needs to say to China, look, hey, we're meant to be your friends, but you've infected, you know, potentially millions of us, you know, you know, so let's do something about it, you know, uh, come together for the greater good, and uh, hey, hopefully that will be the case.
Give me two seconds, guys. Another call. Sierra again, I think. Hello? Sierra, I keep telling you not to phone me. I'm like, what? Oh, at work? Oh, you've got Destiny downloaded. Awesome, right. Right, okay. And you've told Hunter? No problem. That's, that's fantastic, Sierra. You're a star. You're a star. Okay. I'll let him know. Right, bye. I've just stayed on the phone again, you know. She never stops phoning, you know. <laughs> um, now she's so excited to play Destiny, and she's, um... <laughs> the funny thing is, I'm not excited to play Destiny. I think Destiny is extremely boring. I, you know, I tried it a few times, and I went back to it, and it's... They need to change the format somehow. Otherwise, I don't know. I think the game's just going to sink, you know. Um, it, it, to me, it's just it's reskin, it's rehash, it's it's just it's just that you you do a certain thing and then you're off it again, you know. And even then, now I'm getting stage where I just can't go already doing the thing. Maybe it's just me being a tired old bastard. I don't know. Um, probably the latter, to be fair. Um, I don't know. I want a game that really grabs my attention. Now, I know The Last of Us 2 is coming out. Uh, I want to know how excited you guys are about that. And, uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know. I know it's been delayed several times, far too many times now, but understandably this time is, you know, well. But it, that could be an excuse as well. You just never know. I mean, the thing is, they say the truth is out there, but we rarely find it. Uh, and um, there's bound to be some sort of reason, you know, why we're not getting it just when we were meant to, you know. I mean, I never played the first game, so I can't really say I'm excited over over it. But I'm excited to see other people excited about it. That, and I do enjoy that. I, I love seeing people play games and getting into them. Like Hunter, when he was playing Man and Medan, and, and I could see how much he really enjoyed it. And um, it's the same with Sarah playing Tetris, or when Holly plays um, Uno, or something like that. And, yeah. <laughs> and Holly, actually, you do love Uno. Um, you love Uno as in the game Uno, you know, not the other Uno. Well, I, don't, I don't know, you know. Be barking up the wrong tree there. Now there's a euphemism for you. Anyway, I'm gonna head off. I'm gonna go do some work. Have fun, guys. I'll speak to you soon.